Welcome to another unboxing video. So for this video, we are going to be unboxing Geki Joban Fate Collide Leaner Prisma Ilya Second No Chikai Emiya Shiro 1-7 scale by Amakuni distributed by Ami Ami or the movie version of this fate spinoff of this magical girl shoujo version. For this video, I'm gonna refer to it as this fate shoujo magical girl version. I did not watch the show, but I've watched all the fate stay nice, fate zeros, all the heavens feels movies, and I wanted to collect a shiro figure. And if you guys looked at what's out there for shiro, there's not very many good versions of this character. He's kind of a boring looking character. I mean, in the Heaven's Feel movie, the third one, he does look a little bit cooler. I don't want to spoil it, but I guess if you're here, you probably already know what happens in Heaven's Feel. But Shiro, he does not have any good looking anime figures until right now. And it just so happens to be this Fate Shoujo version. So for this figure, I paid $177.28. The figure itself cost 19,800 yen and I paid EMS for 6,120 yen. The DHL price was 8,004 yen. The difference was around 2,000 yen. So that turns out to be maybe around roughly $14 that I saved by using EMS. So I got the invoice and paid for the figure on October 27th. They finally shipped it out on November 2nd and it arrived on November 7th. So from payment all the way to arrival to my home, it took around almost two weeks. That's around how long EMS usually takes. It's usually a little bit longer than say a FedEx or a DHL, which is perfectly fine as long as it's not like months and months, right? Once again, this character is very, very hard to find something that's a little bit more dynamic for the character. So it just so happens it has to be this shoujo magical spin-off series version. I tried watching the very first episode and I cannot do it. I just can't watch magical girl shoujo girl stuff, you know? And there's a lot of lolly stuff in the anime. So I just I just can't do it, man. <laughs> I just can't do it. But that does not take away the fact that the anime figure itself, this version of Emiya Shiro, Shiro Emiya, is freaking dope so before we unbox this figure do me a favor guys hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and check out my blog at otakusen.com the two animes that i love covering right now is chainsaw man and the eminence in shadow i started another anime channel it is called Otaku Sin, as in just one word. If you guys want to go over there and subscribe over there, where I'll be talking about anime over on that channel. If you guys can go ahead and follow me on TikTok as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this figure. All right, here is the box from Ami Ami. It came in a 120 size box. So on my last video, I talked about how I never really received a, a messed up package from Ami Ami. But underneath, there is a little bit of damage right here, but generally underneath the box, it's pretty heavily packaged, but who knows? I guess we will find out. So on the top of the box is the Ami Ami thank you card. As you can see, there is a thick layer of packaging right on top of the box. That underneath, if there actually isn't really a, a thick layer of packaging at the bottom, so the bottom of the package might have caused an issue right here. So just one thing to note about the shipping box quality. All right, so one thing to note about the box quality that I have noticed so far is just this little line. There's like two lines right here. This one's probably a lot more noticeable, but there's like a little dent line here and it's a lighter dent line right here. On the top of the box, you can kind of see it's not like, there is a little indent in the top of the box as well. So it's not a perfect quality box uh, by any means, but it's a, uh, pretty it's decent enough i guess 
other than that the design of the box there isn't anything that special about it compared to all the other uh, scale figure boxes that we would typically get but yeah they just obviously put the picture of the figure on the boxes and the whole theme is obviously emia's power like most figure boxes there's tape on the sides and there's a tape on top of the box inside of the box you could kind of see it's kind of like a little metal foil design in the inside of the box i could kind of see my reflection right here so for the packaging of the figure it, there looks like for all the swords is there's an extra layer underneath and then there is the manual at the very bottom of the box so here is the manual for the figure here is the figure base it's very very light very very plastic which is slightly disappointing but you know it's okay I guess all right so right here on the little instructions it looks like all these swords are labeled and it just coincides with the particular hole on the figure base and you can kind of see these swords they have like a little shape to get it to fit in the base so it becomes kind of obvious where it should go and sword B Sword C, and then Sword D, and the last sword, Sword E. All right, we got these swords inside the base, so let's mess around with the figure. And of course, at the bottom, there will be peg holes. And then for the attachment pieces for the figure, you can actually take apart the sword and then put the little handle inside his hand first and then attach the blade back into the handle. And then on his kind of jacket, there's actually little strings that you can attach to his kind of jacket right here. Here is the sword. And the instruction says to put the handle through the back side of his hand and through this way. And the hole is big enough where it should just slide right through. I'm going to make sure the blade is up this way. Now for the strings for his jacket. So there's actually a little hole here, but it's so small and hard to get on camera that it's pretty difficult to kind of see. But trust me, there are some holes right here. All right, it is on there. All right, so let's talk about this figure right here. So let's just start off with the negatives of the figure. There's not too much. The first thing I really noticed, like when I took it outside of the box, is the base. Like in the pictures, I mean, it's supposed to be in the snow, so you can't really say wow why why isn't there more effects on the base but there isn't very much going on with the base it's the swords is what makes it cool it's it's emia's power it's, it's shiro's powers right so the swords in the snow is pretty cool but the kind of base that they made is it's just plastic like it's the most plastically cheap feeling thing that you can really have and that part about it it bothers me a little bit that they didn't go uh, a little bit more heavier, a little bit more special about it. They ju it's just basically plastic mold that's like indented in some areas. And then they spray painted the top of the base to kind of give it the illusion that it's something cool going on. But there's really not. It's really about the sword inside of the snow that gives the base effect like to make it look decent you know but yeah other than that there's not very many areas on the figure where there's like a painting error the only parts uh there might be a little bit of issues is basically the sword on the base itself all the sword attachments onto the base there's like you know they had the painting paint in the little lines on the handles of the swords there's a little bit of the paint 
<laughs> not being where it's supposed to be. And on the sword of Emiya on his left hand, there's this uh, yin and yang kind of uh, painting detail that's on his sword. And some of the paint isn't all the way clean. Like it's not bad, but you could tell if you look up close that it's not completely clean. Just like the handles of the sword. But I'm going on a little bit too long about that, about the little paint errors. I don't really completely think it's a complete error or a complete defect, but it's just not completely clean. But everything else, like it took me a while to find uh, some of these parts on this figure where it's not like perfect. This figure in general, the, the make of it, it's, it's very, very clean. The sculpting, I like the figure, the body of the figure, it, it's, it's as almost perfect as can be. The sculpting of the hair, the face, like when I look at him and look at the face of Emiya, it looks pretty, it looks pretty good. But when I took pictures of his face, it's like perfect. From the prototype pictures into what I have in my hand right now, it's, it's what you see in the prototype pictures. It's very, very true to the pictures. Yeah, putting it together is very, very easy too. Like the little swords, like they fit on pretty easily onto the base. The little manual that they give you, it looks like it'd be kind of complicated, I guess. It's all just in black and white, but you'll figure it out. It's very, very easy. But the, the best part about this figure is not only is it clean, it's the little damage, battle damage parts of his body. You know, you have the little, he has a little flame in his hand. You don't have to put the little flame effect in his hand. It's already in his hand. So that's pretty cool as well. Yeah, but the sculpting, those little spots of just little blood everywhere, like the little cuts on his body is just, it's the coolest part about this figure is what made me as excited. Even though I, I didn't watch the spinoff, the, you know, I call it the, fate shoujo version the fate magical girl version this is still by far the best uh, shiro design of this character out there if you look at my figure collection and look at all his other figures they're all very basic there uh, there's a lot of prize figures and there's some that are actually wonder festival only very very super limited risens of emia which no one's ever going to get and then you have the fate stay night with those that like that two, three, four, a thousand dollar like risen. So yeah, there was that 15th anniversary edition of Fate Stay Night with Saber and Shiro. But there's nothing available that's really good in between, let's say 150 to that $300 range. And I think this is the first one of Shiro that's not just a regular Fate Stay Night version of him in just like a school uniform. Like this is something different. This is something that I think a lot of fans of this character would like. It's something more, especially as a guy like myself, like I love battle damage, like anime figures, the designs on those. That's what we want to see. We want to see our guys get looking beat up in the coolest way possible and making the pose that is just like super badass. That's all we really would want. I mean, the painting, the sculpting, the easy assembly, Everything about this figure I really, really like. And I like the fact that I only paid $177. Before the game started the fall, uh, I pre-ordered this uh, quite a while ago. So this probably would have ended up being closer to $210 maybe before the yen fell. So I think that maybe that's a little bit more on the higher end. I really like thinking about Kotobukiya because Kotobukiya is that one brand I always use because they are kind of like the starter kit of scales where I kind of bring all the prices back to. So Kotobukiya uh, RFXJ, you can find it anywhere from let's say 100 bucks to 160. Like the Kocho figure that I have, she was a little bit under 160. So she was more closer to like, let's say 150, 145. And the base on that was just very, very, very good. I really, really like that figure. It's one of my favorite figures that I have in my collection. But the base on this one, not too great. But the figure itself, the battle damage parts of his body, it, it looks very, very awesome. This is like already up there as one of my favorite things that I want to hold on to for quite a while. Because there isn't a Shiro figure besides the really, really expensive Risen's with that Saber figure that I'm not going to pay for that. And I'm not that big of a fan of those two characters together in that kind of pose but yeah this one as shiro a scale a 17 scale itself this to me is totally worth it for 177 that's a very very good price 
um, that I paid for overall. So if you guys can somehow catch this figure in US dollars below $200, this is totally, it's worth it. It's definitely uh, valued at that right price. Around 180 is cool. But yeah, I don't really have much else to really say about the figure besides the fact that it's the best looking figure of Shiro. So this is my first Amakuni figure. It's a 1-7 scale distributed by AmiAmi. I know in the US you could get him from Right Stuff Anime. I think it's closer to like $210 or probably higher than that. Right now you should be able to still get it from AmiAmi. Yeah, definitely as advertised. I think that's the most important thing when we see these prototype pictures or these manufactured pictures is what we see what we're getting and I believe that is what we're getting is what you see in those pictures. The quality control, I don't think you guys are gonna be worried about the way it came out. I think it came out pretty well. Even with the base, you know, feeling cheap, visually, you're not really gonna know that until you get it in hand and feel it. But most people, if you take a picture of it, put it in your display, you're not gonna care about it feeling cheap rather than looking good and presenting something uh, uh, different to the collection, you know? So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this figure. Are you guys getting it? Is this something that you guys had on pre-order? Are you kind of waiting to see what people think about it? In my opinion, it's totally worth it, especially uh, for the prices right now. It had that older Japanese yen price. So with the fall of the Japanese yen, it's totally, totally, you know, worth the price. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and Comment down below what you guys think. Check out my blog at otakusen.com. Check out my TikTok. And I am created another YouTube channel where I talk about anime. So go ahead and check that out there. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this figure. And let me know what Shiro figures that you guys have yourself. Other than that, I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video.